Good morning, students. Let us continue with our chapter number twelve, Smart Charts. Let us do some more practice. Sono's routine of Sunday is given here. Indicate it in the pie chart. Now see, this is the Sunday routine of Sono. We have to show this in this pie chart. Now see, eight hours he gives for sleeping. Four hours studying, three hours playing with friends, three hours daily activities. That means eating, bathing, getting ready, and six hours spending that time with father and mother. Now eight hours. Now you know one day is equal to twenty-four hours. One day is equal to twenty-four hours. So out of twenty-four hours, he sleeps eight hours. Now see, this is for sleeping. Eight by twenty-four. That is one by three. Eight ones are eight, and eight threes are twenty-four. Now four hours studying. That means four by twenty-four. See here, when we cut this, four ones are four, and six fours are twenty-four for studying. Three hours playing with friends, and three hours daily activities. Now you can see here. This two portion equally divided, three by twenty-four and three by twenty-four. That is one by eight. Eight one three ones are three, and eight threes are twenty-four. And next six hours spending time with mother and father. Now see here six hours, six by twenty-four, and spending with father and mother. That means six ones are six and six fours are twenty-four. Understood. Next, details of favorite items of members of a family are given below. Make a bar graph on its basis. Now see, family members and their favorite items are given here. We have to make a bar graph. Now see, father likes tea and fruit. Mother, tea, chocolate and fruit. <coughs> Grandfather. tea chocolate and fruit grandmother tea and chocolate sister coffee and fruit brother coffee chocolate and fruit now you have to draw a bar graph now see this is here you have to draw now see this is x axis axis and this is y axis okay now see on the x axis family members are shown and on the y axis favorite items that means tea coffee chocolate fruit etc then we have to draw a bar graph okay now see first one is done for you father father likes t and fruit so you can see here father see like this way t and fruit okay now see here mother mother likes t chocolate and fruit so see here mother t this is chocolate and this is fruit this we have to do i have already done this for you then grandfather likes tea chocolate and fruit now see here grandfather tea then chocolate and then fruit okay next is grandmother tea and chocolate so see here grandmother tea then that next is chocolate then sister coffee and fruit now you can see here here it is coffee and it is fruit then brother see here coffee chocolate and fruit now see brother coffee this is chocolate and this is fruit this you have to draw with the scale and pencil understood 
Next, the weight of four students is shown in the following bar graph. Write the name on the bars on the basis of the details given below. Now see, you can see here a bar graph is given. We have to write the names on the basis of the details given below. Now see here, first is Bela has the minimum weight. Subse kam weight, minimum weight. Kisko hai? Bela. Now you can see here. Bar graph mein dekho, subse kam kon sa hai? See here. This is Bela, kam weight wala. That means this is Bela. Now, Payal's weight is less than Amisha but more than Hethel. Payal ki jo weight hai, wo Amisha se kam hai but more than Hethel. Now see, Amisha, this is Amisha se kam hai. That means, see here, this is more and this is less. You can see, that means less than Amisha. Ye Amisha hai, to is se kam or Hethel se jada. See, now see, that means this is Amisha, this is Payal, this is Hethel and this is Bela. Understood? I, now see, this is x-axis and this is y-axis. On the x-axis, name of the students and on the y-axis, weight of the students. Understood? Students of standard 5 to 8 in one school have collected some amount for relief fund. Details of fund is shown in the following table. Complete the bar graph and answer the question. Now, details of fund collected by the students of 5 to 8 are given here. We have to draw a bar graph and then answer the question. Now, see standard 5 collected rupees 3000, standard 6 collected 6000, standard 7 collected 2000 and standard 8 collected 4000 rupees. Now, let us make the bar graph. Now see, this is the bar graph. I have already done this for you. This is x-axis and this is y-axis. On the x-axis, standards and on the y-axis, amount in rupees. Now see, 5th standard collected 3000 rupees, 6th standard collected 6000 rupees, 7th standard collected 2000 rupees, and 8th standard collected 4000 rupees. Now let us answer the following questions. Okay. Now which standard has collected the highest amount? Now see here. Now this 4 standard you can see. Which standard collected the highest amount of 6000? Standard 6 has collected the highest amount. Now, which standard has collected the least amount? Subse kam amount. Now, see here. 3000, 6000, 2000 and 4000. That means standard 7 has collected the least amount. Which standard has collected half the amount of standard 6? Now, see. Standard 6 collected 6000. So, half of 6000 is... 3000 now you can see here 3000 is collected by standard 5 that means standard 5 has collected half of the amount of standard 6 last question is which standard has collected double the amount of standard 7 now see here standard 7 collected 2000 so double amount of 2000 is 4000 now see here 4000 4000 is collected by standard 8. Now standard 8 has collected double the amount of standard 7. With this we complete our chapter here.